Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right, next matchup on the SummerSlam 2023 card was, and I'm surprised it was put in this slot. I'm talking about Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. Now, when I saw this as the number two, the second match on the card, I sat here and said to myself, okay. Either Brock is busy, <laughs> Brock got something to do later, Brock don't want to be here any longer than he has to, <laughs> or there's going to be a, a shorter match than you expect. Because if you think about it, Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar at, um, sorry, the almighty Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar at Elimination Chamber was also the second match on the card. And that match was less than 10 minutes so knowing that in my head i'm like okay i i don't know how this is gonna go now i didn't know well not only that but i also didn't know how the match was gonna go period you know what i'm saying because this right the the last two matches eh, they've been they've been iffy but the one thing that has been constant is that Brock never pinned Cody. Cody never beat Brock clean. Remember the first match, Cody caught Brock with a roll-up. Or caught him slipping, I say that. He caught him slipping. And in the second match, Cody passed out. So Cody never even tapped either. So Cody never tapped, never gave up. None of that over Brock. Okay, sorry. All right, so yeah. So... What is match number three going to give me? Match number three probably gave me a great illustration of what Cody is. Either it is, I, I don't know how to say it, but it's like it gave me an illustration of what Cody is. Cody is a passionate man that will not give up in a match you're gonna have to kill cody in order to beat him it's pretty much what the subject of this was and that pretty much ran true through this whole match right so in the beginning you know it's a back and forth type of thing cody got shot brock got shot cody got shot brock got shot then until brock gained control and then he had control for pretty much majority of his match. I'm talking about control to a point, right? Brock hit a suplex. I think he hit a German suplex. But after, but around that time, Cody was already getting beaten on so much. Co um, Brock hit a German. Cody will roll out the ring. And then probably after seven to eight, he rolls back in. So this was going on for a, a good amount of time. Until, um, actually, I think it started. No, it started when Brock and Cody on the outside. Brock just picks up Cody at five on the outside. Boom. Round the mat. Brock rolls back in and he just waits for Cody. Cody takes a while, but then he gets up. Just in time to get back in the ring. And then from there, Brock, every, every move Brock hit, Cody would roll back to the outside. Um, Brock would hit a suplex. Cody rolls on the outside. Brock would hang man. Cody's on the outside. Everything Brock did, Cody rolled back inside. And then within the, between the seven to nine count, Cody would roll back in. Then Brock got frustrated to the point where he rolled back out, took Cody up, F5 through the announce table. So Brock rolled back in. He's like, I'm done. It's over. So at nine, I think at nine, Cody rolled back in, but he had to hold the ropes just to keep himself up. 
So then Cody was like, that's all you got? Come on. Brock was pissed at this point. He's like, I don't know what the hell I got to do to keep him down. And I think that's what the image was for us to see for Cody, right? It's a, uh, Cody's going to be hard to beat. And that's good because that's what you're going to need against Roman Reigns. We're going to get there. <laughs> We're going to get there. Don't worry. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <clears throat> So Brock, um, so Brock's about to hit a German. No, Brock got the Kimura on. Bro then Brock locks in the Kimura lock. He doesn't have on. He has for a, a, a slight long time, but not enough where, you know, Brock boom breaks his arm. No, he just he just has it on. Cody's able to get to the ropes. Boom, break that up. And then Cody gains as much as he can. Boom, disaster kick. Boom, another disaster kick. Then he hits the Cody cutter. And then he rolls up. Um, he he gets on the top rope. It's another Cody Cutter. Looks crazy. Looks looks good. One two kick out right. So then, um, Brock's about to hit the F five. Cody gets out of it. Cody pushes Brock to an exposed turnbuckle, of which Cody exposed. So Cody had so. Brock hits, you know, Brock always going for all these suplexes. So Brock went for a German suplex. Cody took off the turnbuckle pad, revealed the steel of the turnbuckle. So boom, that came back into play. Um, Cody rams Brock into the steel. Then boom, crossroads. Another crossroads. Boom, hits the third crossroads. One, two, three. Cody Rhodes beats Brock Lesnar, which was what everybody guessed. I did too, so it is what it is. We got the right, the, the right thing happened, right? And then at the end, Brock's up. Brock's looking at Cody. Brock takes off his 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 gloves. Cody takes off the tapes on his gloves, or the, I'm sorry, the tape off his hands. Brock just eye to eye with Cody. Extends his hand. Cody takes his hand. Starts hugging Cody. See Cody's face. He's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Raises Cody's hands. This is about probably the biggest rub Brock has given anybody. <laughs> At this point in time, this is the biggest rub Brock's given anybody. Brock's never done this before. He's never given nobody any respect. He gave Cody respect. Pretty much symbolizing he overcame the beast. He's ready for the next step. We don't know what the next step is, but hopefully on Raw, we'll see where the, what the next step could be. So we'll see what's up. But Cody Rose getting the win. Finally, that rivalry is over. Uh, match one and two is eh, but match three, just a tad bit better. I'm glad we ended it like that. Cool. All right, next match, let's get it.